Are you interested in working outdoors, operating complex equipment, and problem solving? Snubbing services are specialized oil and gas well maintenance functions that require working with a well under pressure. Let's learn more from a snubbing services operator. My name is Derek Pruden. I'm a snubbing operator. A snubbing operator is someone who forces pipe into your well bore against high pressures, low pressures. Um, you use a hydraulic workover machine to overcome the well bore pressure. Snubbing means that the well is under pressure, it's live, so you have to isolate that pressure and how we do that is we put pipe into the ground and we isolate it with what we call an annular and that annular allows us to create a seal to stabilize the pressure, to control the pressure and uh, that allows us to force pipe into your well under pressure. Training is pretty technical, there's a lot of it. You go through many courses before you're even allowed to get out into the field. They have a competency checklist is what it's called and it's all different stages. You start out as a red hat and uh, you go through one month probation and uh, once that's finalized, you get that signed off, you'll write a test and then you become a one, class 1A assistant and so on and so forth all the way up to your supervisor 2 level. There's many certificates, you get anything from your H2S certificate uh, your fit test, uh, your fall protection. Here with snubbing you will need a class one license, driver's license, and uh, we do that in-house here. Here at High Arctic, I think uh, what really makes a good, good hire, first of all, somebody that's eager, willing to learn. We would like to see a grade 12 education. That definitely will help them excel in their careers. Uh, we need somebody that is willing to travel, and, you know, likes kind of the open road and the, the adventure of, of traveling around the province. There's a lot of camp work. They'll set up drilling rig camps, they'll bring in ATCO trailers and uh, set them up for your bed and they'll have kitchens and you, uh, a lot of hotels too. Um, if you're close enough to town, you'll usually stay in a hotel. In order to carry out a safe operation snubbing, you need to protect yourself. The protective equipment that you need to wear as a snubber is, of course, a hard hat your safety glasses, your uh, fire retardant coveralls, gloves, and your safety boots. The tools and equipment we use are anything from 36 inch pipe wrenches, 24 inch pipe wrenches, hammers, open end box wrenches, winch lines, you got hydraulic jacks, you got your slips. The skills you require to be a snubber, you need to be competent, you need to be sure yourself, confident within your abilities, um, you need to be able to think on the spot, uh, there's a lot of math involved. You have to be aware, you have to be on your toes and be able to adapt and overcome certain situations. The physical traits, you need to be in shape. I mean it is physically demanding in your first couple of years. Um, there's a lot of heavy lifting and you got to be aware. I mean it's, it's a job that can go wrong in a hurry but if you're aware, if you're on top of things, if you're smart, competent, if you prepare yourself and your equipment prior to going to a job, everything should be done safely. You learn on the job daily. It's, uh, I've been here six years and I haven't stopped learning. I learn every day. You start out as a class one assistant and uh, your advancement opportunities, you uh, perform tests and uh, get checklists and uh, the ultimate goal is to run your own rig or to become a supervisor of your own rig, otherwise known as a tool push. And uh, after that, you're looking into management or office positions. Uh, what I find most satisfying about snubbing is the challenge from day to day. It challenges you mentally, emotionally, physically. And to get by that and to overcome those at the end of the day just gives you that sense of gratification. As a snubbing operator, I am very happy with my career choice. Um, it challenges me from day to day. And I look forward to being a snubber for the rest of my career. Snubbing services operator is a designated occupation in Alberta. That means you might want to obtain an occupational certificate. To get one, you train on the job and complete a petroleum competency program. Discover more about snubbing services operator, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the Alice website, and learn about related occupations like rig technician, well service equipment operator, or oil and gas well loggers and testers. 
Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.